All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people just like you and just like me. Um, interesting news from the band Chicago as they lose yet another member. Uh, this happens fairly regularly. This time it's uh, Keith Howland, who was their longest tenured lead guitar player, spent 27 years in Chicago longer than Terry Kath, longer than Dwayne Bailey, longer than Chris Pinnock and Donnie Dacus, and yeah, just about everybody who's ever been in Chicago. You'd have to kind of string a couple of those guys together to equal the amount of time that Keith Howland spent with the band. He joined in 1995 after Dwayne Bailey was let go for some chicanery, we'll say, um, and I've, I think, outlined that in a video. It's a really crazy, interesting story. Uh, I like Dwayne Bailey a lot, but uh, Keith Howland ended up being probably one of the best guitarists the band has ever had. I would put him second behind Terry Kath, uh, Dwayne Bailey maybe third, but um, just because of longevity, I think Keith Howland deserves to be number two. Uh, he did a really good Terry Kath impersonation on a lot of the older material. And I think that's why he got the gig to begin with. Uh, he had a lot of energy on stage. Quite honestly, he was my favorite musician in that band. I know that sounds kind of weird when you think of the old timers who are still there and the other uh, great players that they've had over the years. But as far as you know, his playing ability on guitar, I really enjoyed his work. He added a lot of excitement and energy to the band. Um, Keith Howland ended up breaking his arm back in November and had to miss some gigs. And then recently Chicago announced they're going to be going out on tour with Brian Wilson, <laughs> which I don't know. Uh, maybe they're going to call it the Prop Me Up Tour with Brian Wilson. I mean, it's just amazing that Brian Wilson is able to still go out there and perform. And so much of... This music is detached from the current generation of people. So I'm not sure a lot of fans will appreciate the significance of Brian Wilson in Chicago. Obviously, Chicago has had a long history with the Beach Boys, hanging out with them, recording with them. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I met Brian Wilson back in the late 1980s, and they had to wheel him in at the record label where we met Brian Wilson for him to say hello to us. He didn't talk a whole lot and it was actually kind of creepy. So that's what I remember about meeting Brian Wilson. Um, a genius, but um, anyway, that's a, another story. I really think that maybe Keith Howland was looking for a way to exit the band gracefully. Interestingly, they've replaced Keith Howland already with a guy by the name of Tony Obroda. Tony uh, spent a lot of time with Peter Cetera in his solo band. So I guess he knows the material and probably needing a gig because Peter Cetera retired a couple of years ago, very quietly retired. Uh, so Tony Obrota is in, Keith Howland is out. Again, Keith Howland uh, seems to be a really great, decent man. Um, worked really hard for 27 years, did everything uh, he was asked to do. He did record with the band, so at least he got his work out there on vinyl, CD, and download. <laughs> mostly, mostly CD and download, probably not a lot of vinyl with uh, Keith Howland on it, but maybe a couple of those releases were available on vinyl. In any event, um, best of luck to Keith Howland. He says... Um, the next chapter is coming, so we shall see if he turns up anywhere. Uh, we know that uh, his former bandmate, Tris Imboden, is about to work with a yacht rock super group, and that should be interesting. Maybe uh, Keith can tag along and get a job with those guys. Maybe he can hang out with Danny Serafin and his band. I mean, there are a lot of options out there. Uh, he could find Bill Champlin or Jason Chef, or Jeff Coffey. These are all guys that used to be in Chicago. Right now, there are more guys outside of Chicago than in Chicago, um, who used to be in Chicago, I should say, 
And you could probably form a really good Chicago part two band or something. You know, I think you'd have to call it like, I don't know, what's another town in Illinois? Call it Decatur. All right. And <laughs> East Chicago. You got to get away from those lawsuits, though. So maybe maybe you just avoid the Chicago name altogether and come up with something brand new. Uh, Danny Serafin calls his band um, California Transit Authority. So maybe you can move it to Colorado and be Colorado Transit Authority. I don't know. Uh, there, are, <laughs> there are a lot of options out there. I don't have very good ideas. And right now, Keith Howland, he's just trying to recover from his accident and we wish him well and uh, hope he lands on his feet in the future. And uh, Chicago, they just roll on. They just don't stop.